In 1992, it was a hip young move for MTV to start up their own movie awards show, an alternative to the stuffy telecasts coming out of old Hollywood. But fast forward to today, and awards shows are not only plentiful, but colorful, especially with Ricky Gervais eliciting gasps and headlines as the host of the Golden Globes. And one of Gervais's most successful jokes has been noting that a Golden Globe can be purchased. Why does that joke hit home? Because credibility is becoming a real issue, and not just for the Globes. As award shows become more prolific, they appear increasingly fake and redundant. Therefore, MTV is making some bold moves with their 2012 Movie Awards in an effort to stand out from the crowd and get some respect. Why now? Well, that's because after peaking in 2002 with 7.1 million viewers, the telecast has been on a downward slide ever since. The low point was in 2008 with 3 million viewers and has hovered around 4.5 million for the past two years. Yes, MTV has a real problem. A problem that one could argue extends beyond their movie awards to the network in general. While it started out on the cutting edge, a bona fide tastemaker, these days MTV lets its audience lead the way. Take the MTV Movie Awards. Winners are chosen by viewers via online voting, which in the early days of the show meant that audience favorites walked away with the golden popcorn. Films like Terminator 2, Pulp Fiction 7, and There's Something About Mary. Yet in the age of American Idol, a certain demographic has become very skilled at online voting, a demographic which also enjoys Twilight, which is why every Twilight film has won the MTV Movie Award for Best Picture for the last three years. Now, obviously, four and a half million people think that's awesome, but there are a lot of Twilight haters, and such wins have seriously damaged the award show's image. Unlike the MTV Video Music Awards, which are highly respected by both the industry and audiences, and enjoy double to triple the viewership of the MTV Movie Awards. So what MTV is going to do is model the Movie Awards after the Video Music Awards, to a degree. A select group of industry insiders, made up of actors, producers, agents, etc., will select the nominees and then viewers will be asked to vote for the winners online. Yes, MTV wants to have its cake and eat it too. This year's award show will also be produced by longtime VMA producer Jesse Ignatovic, who will be booking major musical acts to perform their hits to movie montages, such as We Are Young to clips from Animal House to Old School to Project X. Yet before you think the MTV Movie Awards are going to get too classy, Inya Tovic is also promising an ode to all the full frontal male nudity we saw in movies this year, like The Hangover Part 2 and Shame. What do you think? Is this a step in the right direction? Will this keep Twilight Breaking Dawn from taking home the top prize? And if it does, will that be a good thing or a bad thing? Or is the question moot as The Hunger Games now reign supreme with the MTV audience? Plus, most importantly, will you watch? Be sure to share your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.